Hello, today I'm going to show you how to copy a DVD. And by copy a DVD, I mean a commercial DVD such as a film or concert, etc. Um, before we begin, I would have to say that I'm not going to debate the legality or the morality of copying DVDs. Um, that's totally up for you to decide if you want to do it or not. I believe uh, technically if you circumvent copy protection on a DVD, technically that is illegal. But uh, unless you're going around selling your copies or, or doing something like that where you're going to get caught, uh, you shouldn't really have anything to worry about. I only copy DVDs for my own personal use. I don't loan them out, sell them, or anything like that. So uh, I don't recommend that you make copies and sell them, which is no question that that is illegal. All right, now you're going to need two programs to copy a DVD. The first program is called One Click DVD Copy 5. And unfortunately, you have to buy this program. This program currently sells for $59. And you can get it, I believe, in, an, in a download or you can get an actual hard disk format. And uh, this is a program that I've used for several years. I've had very good luck with it. I've only had a few discs that it wasn't able to copy, and those are usually the newest releases. And uh, when they catch up with the uh, error correction and so forth on the newest releases, these problems, I would think, usually go away. Um, when you install this program, you'll be prompted to install CPRX error correction and you definitely want to do that because these movie studios they put errors and bad sectors on the DVDs and trying to prevent you from copying them so you want this error correction technology you want to download that uh, when you install your one click DVD copy the next program you will need is DVD 4.3 plugin this is a free program and this is a decryptor. Now the the company that makes the copying basic copying software, they cannot include a decryptor in their software. Le legally they cannot do this. However, if you try copying a movie with just the software alone without the decryptor, you will get a pop-up saying this is decrypted, cannot do it, blah blah blah. They will prompt you to de to install a decryptor and this is the encrypt the, the decryptor you want to install, it's called DVD 4.3. You want to install the plug-in version, not a standalone version. Because this, is, this works with one-click DVD copy, like it says right here. And you just install it, and uh, you really don't have to do anything else. Although, once in a while, they will update this. And if they prompt you to update it, you should update it. After you install your software and you open it up, just bear with me here. This is what it will look like, and it will say one click DVD copy, blah, blah, blah. And it will give you some options. For example, you can record extras, you can record all languages, DTS audio, uh, movie menus, and dual layer. Uh, most of this stuff I do not check off because I think it takes up too much room on the on the disk and uh, you really don't need all this stuff if you want to include it you can and it'll, it will give you a default destination and uh, where you put your data and so forth if you have enough room on your hard drive it'll go there if you want to put it on a on a different hard drive you can do that also Excuse me, I didn't want to do that. Okay, now when you uh, are ready to go here, you insert your DVD into your DVD drive, which of course I didn't mention, you must have a DVD drive and this must be a PC that you're using. It's pretty obvious, but I just have to state that. You install your DVD in your drive. One click will read it. It'll come up here, it'll say reading, and then it'll say applying error correction. And then it will say if it has to do any compression to get all of the files on a single DVD disk. 
it usually has to compress like say a two hour movie it might have to compress it like five percent eight percent or something like that depending upon how long the program is and then what your green start button will light up and you just click start and then this program will rip all the data off the disk you'll see a bunch of white squares going around on the scale here until it gets all the way over to a hundred percent this will take approximately 15 minutes for a two hour film and then it will say uh, please insert blank DVD media so you take your I believe it ejects your Hollywood film and then you uh, put a blank DVD in and you can either hit burn and it'll start burning right away or you wait it'll be a 15 second countdown and then it will start burning after 15 seconds and it will burn all your files to your disk this takes I'm thinking maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then it will say when it's done and I believe it will eject the disk when it's done and it will say completed and then you are good to go you have a copy of your movie um, this program like I said is is the best that I've found so far um, I know there might be a few programs that are newer that might work a little bit better. If you know of any program that works better than one click DVD copy or if it's cheaper or whatever, uh, I'd like to hear about it because it's it'd be interesting to me to know if there's something better. But for me, I've had very good results with this. I've only had a few DVDs that I couldn't copy, and these were usually some of the newest releases. So with anything put out, say six months to a year ago or older you're probably not going to have a bit of trouble with it and uh, the newer ones you may want to retry at a later date after they update the error correction and so forth and then I think you'd be good to go um, I do also believe that you have a one-year license with this program and once a year you have to renew your license and I think that costs like something like ten to twenty dollars or something like that uh, sounds like a lot of money but it's worth it because then you get all you can keep installing all the updates of the program and you can keep it up to date so that it'll copy all the latest releases so uh, that's about all I have to say that's uh, the program one click DVD copy 5 I highly recommend it I think it works very well and uh, if you want to copy DVDs give it a try if you know of a better program, one that's cheaper, that works better, uh, you've had better luck with it, or you've tried this and you tried something else and the other program was better, uh, let me know. I'd like to hear about it. And as always, comment, read, and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching my videos.